Once you've created a new news feed category, you can then click the edit button and edit a news feed category. In here you can edit the name, you can edit the alias, you can change the parent item, you can change the status, you can change the different user groups that have access to this category, we can change the permissions as to who has access to this category, uh, pardon me, who has access to edit the category inside this edit a news feed category. So we're actually changing the permissions to this component itself. So you can say, you know, only administrators or managers have access to this screen that we're looking at here. Uh, you can set the language uh, and you can add a description to this specific category. You can select a user, who it's created by. It'll lock in a created date at that point. Got some basic options where you can choose the layout. You can select an image to represent the category and you can add a little note uh, for yourself here. Metadata options. If we're going to be displaying the news feed categories on the front end of our website, um, when someone clicks on one of those, it's going to render a page, and this is going to be the description for that page, so make sure it's a unique meta description. You can choose to put in keywords or not. We're going to insert an author for the content, and then we can edit the uh, Affect the Robots text file here. You'll notice at the top here we've got Save, Save and Close, Save and New, and Save as Copy. If we hit Close here, and we go into a category item again. Um, we're going to have the save and close. We'll save it and close it. Save it. And if we click save and new, it's going to save the category here, tell us that it was successfully saved, and put us into a new blank one so we can just create a new one here. Um, you'll notice that when we're on this screen, there's no save and copy. So if we cancel out of this and go back into a, an existing category, we're going to have save as copy. So if we have nested categories and we're using those and we're creating multiple categories inside uh, additional categories, um, this will keep all of the settings that we've got in here in place and just make a copy of it. Um, once that's done, you can quickly kind of populate nested categories and then jump into each one and edit them very quickly as well. So hope that was helpful.